Welcome to Red V TV. A very happy Easter to you all. Um, it's been a long time since we celebrated an Easter period with a, a victory over Wigan 2009. The last time. Um, a little bit short and sweet with the games coming fast. Um, and I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with a little bit of a monologue. I text Kev to see what time he was coming around to the Red V studio for the filming this evening. And I got sent back a picture of a pint of Guinness and the message that he's still celebrating with family. And to be honest, can you really blame him? And I, know, I know on an Easter Sunday, I wouldn't want to be out driving either. Um, so he does send his apologies and um, he'll be back for the Instant Fan Max reaction tomorrow and a roundup of the Easter period uh, for the Red V TV show during the week. Um, thanks for all the messages and comments that you've left on the videos and on the Twitter and on the Facebook uh, about the videos. Um, it's amazing to know what how you see different things. Obviously, when you see the game live, or you watch it back, or you watch it on TV to begin with. Um, probably during the, the game at the back of the West End, probably didn't notice the amount of shots that Regan uh, Regan Grace was taking during the game. He, he, he certainly copped a few, and I think we discussed afterwards on the instant match reaction. Um, just how we looked at a bit wary, and to be honest, with the amount of head shots coming his way, I, I can't really blame him. But you know what? To keep his head. And then to get that winning try says it all, really, doesn't it? Um, we discussed James Roby and how fantastic he was. But it was the fact for me that we all stood up during the game. Um, too many times that Wigan performance has been or would be enough to beat a Saints selling side. And do you know what? It feels like we've come over a real barrier, mental barrier, a mental toughness to come through that. Um, and it just, it just says a lot about this team and how Justin Holbrook set them up. Um, other things to comment on, Danny Richardson's kicking. Do you know what? Worth its weight in gold, isn't it? That touchline conversion after Regan's try, it meant that it'd give us a chance to set up for that drop goal. Otherwise, obviously, Wigan would have been going down the other end looking for either a one-score game to either win it or level things up. As it is, Re uh, Danny's kicking under pressure. Um, it's 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 worth its weight in gold, isn't it? I don't know. We've criticised maybe is is kicking in open play, and now we probably needs to mature a little bit and learn from experience. To maybe drop a little bit further back, take a couple of seconds to look at the field. But is kicking from drop goals or conversions absolutely priceless? And and come the the back end of the season, when you're relying on games where you're going to win and squeak home by two four points. Um, it's going to be all worthwhile, isn't it? Defensively, once again, pretty sound. Um, we've still got, we've got that the Leeds blip on our on our record, really. And again, if you're only conceding 14, 16, 18 points in the game, you're always going to be putting yourself in a position to win. Um, looking forward to tomorrow. We go to witness. Notoriously, it seems to be a difficult place for us to go. We never seem to perform really well there. Um, I know last season we went there on Easter Monday. Uh, we lost 16-14. It wasn't one of our highlights of the season, especially after we had probably so much optimism after Regan Grace's debut at Wigan, even though we got beat. But we probably went to witness thinking, do you know what, we'll turn these over today. And we didn't. Um, at the end of the day, it's Witness's Cup final, isn't it? I'm sure a couple of Witness fans will come on to tell us that just as well. Um Justin Holbrook, post-match Wigan, uh, said Matty Smith's in line to play tomorrow, so we ex I expect him to probably come into the halves, maybe at the expense of Johnny Lomax, if we leave him out, obviously concerns over his knee on the eye pitch. But then the point did get raised to me, that Saints train on a, on a 3G pitch all winter and throughout the season, don't they? Um, they use the pitches at Ruskin, and so maybe it's not as big a factor as we might have made it out to be. So will Tommy Makinson play as well? Um, Justin Holbrook, Probably surprised everyone by naming that, that unchanged squad. If you do choose to leave Tommy Makinson out as well as Johnny, what do you do? Do you put Dominic Perry in the centre? Um, Ryan Morgan out on the wing. Um, obviously, Witness are missing players of their own. Uh, Reese Hambry's missing. Christian Inu. Uh, Houston. So they're all missing. And they're coming off the back of a, a really tough game at Warrington on Friday where they went down 32 points to 18. Um, so really, it's a game Saints should be winning, even if we do rest a couple of bodies. But 
Justin's got this ruthless attitude, hasn't he? He just wants to win, win, win. And obviously we've got Widnes tomorrow, Hull FC on Friday, which is an, another tough game. And then the following week we've got Wakefield. And that's probably our toughest period. Then we've probably got a period of, say, three or four weeks where we play the lesser teams. And if we can, if we can win the next couple, build up a four to six point gap at the top of the table, that'll probably give Justin... Uh, the chance to rotate bodies if he wants to and, and keep players fresh for the for the upcoming Super 8s after that. Um, it's going to be a, a scrappy game tomorrow, isn't it? it? It seems that, you don't know, in this Easter period, the games on the Easter Monday, they always tend to have a lot of points in for both teams, uh, whoever's taking play, uh, part in the games normally. Um, I know that wasn't the case last year, but it is normally the case, a, a high-scoring game. Saints... If Saints play like they should, should be winning by 20 to 30 points, shouldn't he? Let's be honest. Um, I've just got a feeling it might be a little bit closer than that and as we come down from the euphoria of, of winning on Friday. So I'll probably go into Saints' victory between 8 to 10 points, 8 to 12 points. I think it'll be tighter than people think. Um, but then it's, it is, again, Witnesses Cup final. There'll be plenty of Saints fans following tomorrow. Um, hopefully a, a full away end um, and we can get behind the lads and we can take four points from four in this Easter period it's probably a lesson we've made, and maybe we've had to learn from Sean Wayne he, he's always targeted the, the four points over Easter as massive in Wigan's season and, and it could equally prove to be that for Saints this year um, as we march up towards the playoffs and yes we want a top well we'd like to finish top but importantly a top two finish and get that home semi-final um, if you are going to witness tomorrow, uh, come find us after the game. We'll usually be outside the away end, uh, doing an instant fan reaction. Um, if you can't be there, obviously the game is on TV, but you can join us on Wish FM from free uh, for live commentary. Uh, and hopefully, we'll be calling a, another Saints victory um, as we continue the march on. Um, so we'll catch you tomorrow, and we'll catch you for the Red V TV show during the week, where I promise. Kev will be back, because let's be honest, that's the only reason anybody watches, isn't it? Right, uh, take care, enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday, slash Easter Monday morning, uh, and we'll see you soon on Red V TV.